Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you are doing great. In this video, we are going to see a quick concept called cross joins in CDS views. So pretty simple, uh, uh, like you know about joins, we are going to combine two different data sources. But in the cross joins, we are going to do the same but without any conditions. If it is a joins, normally in a join or out, left out join or whatever it is, we normally do a conditions based on these field value uh, if it is matches only take those values as a, a final result but cross joins it works without any uh, common values between two data sources so if you get into the slides a few things we had learned before get into the uh, system so here i have two data sources one is with three records other with four records so here cross join us it's try to combine all the data on your target system so both the system in the both the data sources okay the first record is also combined with all the four second all the four third is also all the four uh, values is going to be combined here there is no common values or no common fields we are going to make use of it for the cross joins a uh, few things to be noted and it combines all the rows from two data sources so it results a large set of data. So if you use a cross join, make sure you're not using the cross join with a huge volume of data or a complex logic because it definitely just decreases the performance of your query. So one of the business scenario for cross joins from my end is we have a contract and the few contract doesn't have a plant. So it means the few contract, uh, the plant value is empty, plant field is empty. If that is the case, uh, business needs, if whenever you find a contract which doesn't have a plant, just combine with all other, like combine with the list of the plants which we prefer or which we maintained, okay? Probably uh, we can use a custom table for that or a T-bar variable. Uh, so if there are four plants they maintain, for example, plan one, two, three, four, and if there is a, a contract which doesn't have a plant, I want to combine all the four plants to the contract. So. At the end, it has four lines of contract. It's going to, it's going to be uh, enabled or it's going to be created through a SQL. Okay, so that is one of the scenario which we are going to use it here for the cross joins as well. So let's get into the system. So this is my system. Let me open the table. TVR variable. I already opened it, so it comes in the recent one and executed. You can do this in AC16 as well. And here, uh, either you can ma uh, maintain a TVR variable or in a custom table, it depends on your um, business needs or requirement. So here, uh, I maintain three plans. So the requirement is if the contract has not maintained any plan, then that contract to be mapped with all this all these three plans okay so here there is no conditions so now i'm, I'm going to use a cross join concept here okay and um, i'm going to make or i'm going to fetch the data from ekkvo ekpvo because uh, the type is maintained ekkvo and the plant is available in ekpvo level and uh, i have already tested or checked the data uh, I don't have uh, any contract in this particular system, but I'm going to use the same table, but probably the var condition I'm going to comment on it. Okay, so so quick ZGI cross joins and uh, this cross join is excuse me. <coughs> available from 7.51 version onwards if i'm not wrong if you are lesser than that then you are able to make it happen you, still if you want to use a cross join yes inner join will help you i will show you that you can achieve the cross joins with the help of inner join and uh, if your version is lesser than 7.51 so akko and uh, the join ekpo so on ekko dot ebln equals ekpo dot ebln okay so here i'm going to use okay before cross joins i need few things ebln 
len akk word dot evelyn and I need sorry akp word dot e b e l p okay and the basic as p s type equal to key it's for contract and works as not equal to empty sorry work as empty equal to empty so this is the uh, base uh, basic query of the requirement but here unfortunately i don't have is not unique okay i i don't have any data which is equal key so that's the reason i can't able to make up works okay but uh, here what i want to do is i'm going to command the command this var condition okay so if you want you can add whatever conditions required so now i'm going to use cross joins and i am currently with more than 7.51 version in the rental system so i'm able to make this happen okay cross join okay not joins tv advancing so no on condition is required so only name is required otherwise it it take all the tvr variable so i need a variable name here Okay, since it do get plans. Okay, that's it. Let's see. Back to work. So expectation is um, there is no var condition. So every purchase order and every item is going to map with all the three plans in my TVRZ variable. So execute this and okay. I need to add a plant also. So plant is from TVR variable. TVR C dot low. Okay. Act to word it. Then yes, execute. So here you can see the one PO and its item is mapped with three. Uh, records of TR variable is three plans. Okay, and I can show you some PO has more than one uh, item. So each item is mapped with all the three plans. So here is so 200, 12 is mapped with 1000, 1001, 1002, 13 is mapped with 1000, 1001, 1002. Okay, so this is the uh, usage of cross joins, but always remember very simple record or limited data cross joins works perfectly if it is a more huge information or huge data or multiple set of data probably because it's going to multiply the data right records so depends on that uh, you have to use the cross line wisely based on your own requirement suppose you were you were above version as um, 7.5 lesser than 7.51 then cross join own support if that is a scenario, you really need to add a cross join. You can try to, this is a kind of alternative, you can try with inner join concept. But if it is an inner join, definitely you need an on condition. So what you can do is you can keep or you can have any common values, probably a client number works better. And that we can be able to make it in a custom table. Because TVR we see, if you use a TVR where you see low and high, then it obviously uh, give a issue with your on condition. It says the data type is not matching between your low as well as your MA entity field. So I have created one table and it has just a field core plans. This is a table, it has a client number as well as the field called plans. So this I'm going to make use of it. Try to achieve the cross joins for the version lesser than 7.51. So here I'm going to use in the join Z plans plans on Z plans dot M A N D T equals uh, Ekko dot mandt again. It's uh, we it, the inner join needs uh, on condition. That is the reason we have to use this. Okay, so here I need z plans dot plant. So it's plans or plant. Okay, plans. Plans. 
Okay, so that's it. I'm trying to activate it. It's a kind of alternate you to try to use cross. Really, you need a cross joins in, in the lower versions. So execute. So here, for a, a differentiate, I used plans 2000 from the table and 1000 from the TR. So definitely it gives the same output. And I'm trying to reach or trying to see the uh, PO which has different items. Yes, it has different items, and each item is mapped with both the records in the Z plans table. Okay, so this is a way you are able to achieve the cross joins in the lower versions. But if you are in already in 7.51 or higher, then definitely you can use cross joins, and this will achieve these kind of business requirement. So um, thank you so much for your time and uh, just play around with this. If you have any doubt, please let me know and see you in the next video. Bye.